Hey guys, do you wanna know one weird trick for not staying up all night working on catastrophe claims? Then keep watching, starting now. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters first. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. And if you're looking for comprehensive and free video training on how to become an insurance adjuster done in signature adjuster TV style, then check out adjustertv.com slash start and get your career off the ground the right way. Hey, Matt here and welcome to Adjuster TV where I share my more than 20 years of experience as a cat property IA to help you build a rewarding career as an independent adjuster so that you can help people during natural disasters and earn a great living doing it. All right, let's get into this. Rule number four, always complete a file as far as you can. What does this mean? The essence of this rule is that anytime you're in a claim for any reason, you really need to try and move that file forward as much as you reasonably can in that moment. So you don't have to do it later. Here are a couple of examples. Say you've reconned and routed all your claims, built out your schedule and made your contact calls. Now you're sitting down to update each Xactimate file with your first contact diary entry, right? So instead of just popping in there and going straight to the diary, filling it out and then hopping straight out again, I'm going to tell you to double check everything, right? Including the deductible, the coverages, update the mortgage, add a grouping tree, pre-fill your billing invoice, and you can even drop in a basic macro or two based on your conversation with the insured. Maybe it's a tree on fence claim. Why not set up the extra coverages and add some basic line items to your grouping tree while you're in the estimate? When you get on site, you can change those as needed, but all that stuff is mostly done and it will save you minutes while you're at the insured's house. And those minutes will add up to an hour or more over the course of a day. What can you do with an extra hour in the field? It's an extra hour for doing another inspection or even an extra hour you don't have to spend later that night. Here's another example. You finish scoping the insured's house and you go back to your car. Why not just sit there for an extra 15 minutes and import and label your photos? You're at the house and you can easily jump back out if you forgot to get a photo. Then it's done and you're not staying up until 1 a.m. three days later labeling photos and realizing you forgot a photo. Even better, if the insured has a question or spotted some interior damage while you're still at the house, you just saved yourself, at the minimum, a time-sucking game of phone tag and at worst, a re-inspection. I know that everybody else says to pull around the corner, but why? Are you scared that the insured is gonna ask you a question? They'll just call you anyway, and in my experience, anytime you touch the phone, time accelerates and starts going out the window faster. Get it done while you're at the house and save yourself time later. And if it's taking you more than 15 or 20 minutes to import and label photos, then you're doing something wrong. And chances are that wrong thing is you're taking too many photos and you don't know the shortcuts for labeling images. Check out this video here for shortcuts on importing and labeling your photos. I would even go so far as to tell you to write the estimate up while you're still at the house, even if you're not gonna settle with the insured for the same reasons you would put your photos in. If you're not brand spanking new, how long does it really take to write a wind hail estimate? Not that long. Again, you're sitting right there at the house, and if you forgot a measurement, you're not making it up four days later at 1.30 in the morning. You'll be asleep four days later at 1.30 in the morning, and this file will have already been closed and is going to show up on your next paycheck. You'll end up with a more accurate file that stays closed and that QAs a lot better. The bottom line is to always look for ways to not create work for yourself later by doing as much as you can in a file right now. I hope you're enjoying this series on the rules of adjusting. And in case you missed the first few, you can catch them right here. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. Adjuster TV, it's all in the wrist.